Hey everybody, this is Brian Lee Davidson Tarka, and I'm back to making Bible videos. I want to talk about promises. This passage talks about promises, so that's what we're going to talk about. But specifically, it's it's more about being being directed into a promise. Like uh like somebody is kind of pushing you into a verbal contract or something like that. And the reason why it's more about that is because this is something that the religious authorities were doing in Christ's time. So Christ is taking that on in this passage. Uh, it's a passage about oaths, promises. And what was happening was religious people were, were kind of um, pushing people into a promise or assuming a promise and, you know, forcing people into that. And, and it looks like it was so common that people were actually using these sayings. And, and Christ is kind of talking about the danger of involving yourself in promises or contracts that may not be helpful for you. So let's take a look at that. This is Matthew chapter 5. It's the book that I'm reading through right now. And this is verse 33 through 37. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but, but fulfill to the Lord the vow you have made. But I tell you, I like how he says, but I tell you in this. You know, it's like he's he's adding an addendum. He's an amendment, you know, to to what has been said. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by earth, for it is God's footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, and do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. So don't swear on your own authority. <laughs> All you need is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. Okay, now that is, I feel, a bit of hyperbole. You know, Jesus isn't talking about uh, expertise, you know, um, because, you know, you might need an expert who is an electrician or a plumber or a construction worker or something like that in your life sometime. And you want their expertise. You want more than a yes or no. And certainly Christ explains things. Uh, many, many holy people, many authors in the Bible are explaining things. You see a lot of explanation in the Bible, so that's something that you do see a lot of. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, when I was little, I used to hear, you know, the a uh, a sermon on mostly verse thirty-seven, without the context of verse thirty-three through thirty-seven. So, uh, so when you're a little kid or a teenager hearing that, or even an adult hearing that, you're just like, okay, you know, I better restrict everything to yes and no. And there is power in that simplicity. But, uh, but you don't want to be the person to try to force your authority or the author or, or bring in the authority. You know, I promise because I am a good religious person that it is going to happen no, don't you know it shouldn't be like that you know jesus himself is saying just uh just bring it in with a simple yes or no you know it's keeping it simple is going to be better it's going to be safer for you and that's that's the wisdom that christ is putting out for the people right now which is interesting because uh, this is probably why people were so amazed by his teaching people said he teaches with authority but not like the pharisees and the sadducees so that's something that uh that's very interesting i mean it's it you wouldn't i mean this day and age, 
this 21st century, we might not think of this as being so controversial, you know, but on the other hand, you know, there, there are other ways that, that we or people around us might try to bring authoritarianism into something. And Christ is warning you to be careful with that. You know, sometimes a simple yes or no will do the job, you know. You know, I give you my word as a, as a good patriot, you know. Um, yes or no. Yes or no. That's, that's fine. You're, you're good with a yes or a no. You know, and so, uh, be careful about making promises and be careful about being pushed into promises as well. So it's just, uh, that's a little bit of, of wisdom right there. All you need it to say is simply yes or no. I mean, in context, when yes or no is appropriate. Okay, just some some good wisdom to to jump into the book, right back into the book of Matthew with. Uh, if you are looking for a physical Bible in America, I have some links down below. If you are looking for a Bible in many, many different languages, check out Bible Gateway. It's free. Download the app and try to find a Bible that is right for you. Okay, you guys take care. God bless and be safe. Wash your hands and wear masks and book both ways before you cross the street. Okay, bye-bye.